Hi, this is your math professor, Barbara Rademacher, and we're going to talk about relations and functions here in the Module 3 homework. When we're talking about relations, we're talking about the x-coordinate being related to the y-coordinate. I'm just trying to figure out why all of a sudden my mouse is turning into a double arrow. I don't know. Anyway, though, it doesn't matter. The relation um, relates the x-coordinate to the y-coordinate. Now, when we talk about a function, now it's back to normal. Is that amazing? Um, when we talk about a function, we're talking about a special kind of relation. So first, get into your mind that we're talking about something that relates an x-coordinate to a y-coordinate. And there are various mental images that will let that happen. Okay, so I just chose another problem. Here we go. The domain consists of the set of all of the x-coordinates of all the points in the relation. This relation consists of four separate points. They're not connected with a line. They're just four dots on the graph. Okay? Our domain is going to be 8, comma, negative 10, comma, 1, comma, 3. I'm going to check my answer. And I'm right. I chose all of the x-coordinates for the domain. The range is the set of all the y-coordinates of all the points in the relation. All of the points, uh, all of the uh, y-coordinates in the relation are 3, comma, negative, whoop, negative 3, comma, negative 1, comma, negative 10. There we go. Now we're being asked if this is a function. This is a function if each ex individual x-coordinate, if each x-coordinate is not paired up with more than one y-coordinate. So here 8 is paired up with 3, and 8 doesn't happen again, so 8 is only paired up with 3. The same for negative 10. Negative 10 occurs as an x-coordinate only once, and it's not paired up with any number except negative 3. 1 is only paired up with negative 1, and 3 is only paired up with negative 10. So we do have a function. You'll see some that aren't functions in just a few minutes. Yes, this is a function, and I'm right. We're going to go on to number two. This is a relation that's, that uh, consists of one, two, three, four, five points. The domain is all of the x-coordinates and the range is all of the y-coordinates. So the domain is going to be 13, comma, 18, comma, 40, but 13 occurs twice. And I've already listed it once, so I don't have to list it again. So I'll just go on to 57, and I'll check my answers. Fantastic. All right, our range consists of all the y-coordinates. 7, comma, negative 10, comma, 7, comma, 3, comma, up. And 3 occurs twice, so I don't have to relist the 3. I'm going to check my answers. Oh, what did I do? All right, let's see. 7, negative 10, 7, and 3. Use a comma to separate. All right, what did I do? I am going to do it again which is always a good thing. When you know, you're right, okay? So 13, 7, 7 is a y-coordinate. 18, negative 10, negative, uh, negative 10 is a y-coordinate. 47, ah, 7 
is a y coordinate. I don't have to list that twice. 3 is a y coordinate twice. I only have to list it once. Now let's see. Okay, that's what I did wrong. Now, is this a function? Notice that 13 occurs twice. The first time 13 occurs with 7, the second time 13 occurs with 3. It doesn't matter how many times a y coordinate occurs, but it does matter if th the same number 13 is being paired up with two different y coordinates. This is not a function, so I'm going to say no. There now. Number 3. This is a different way of showing functions and relations. It's also a different way of showing points. It's called a mapping. And this is really the way we talk about points. We say that the x-coordinate is mapped by the relation to the y-coordinate. OK, notice that 18 is only mapped to 6, 15 is only mapped to 9, and 21 is only mapped to 6. It doesn't matter if two different x-coordinates are mapped to the same y-coordinate, as long as there's only one arrow leaving from each x-coordinate, this is a function. But I have to choose a similar one. OK. I had to choose a different problem because the answers were already there. However, 23 only has one arrow, 1 only has one arrow, 6 only has one arrow, and each of them only occurs once. So this is a function. The domain is all the numbers on the left. The domain will always be on the left when you have a mapping. 23, comma, 1, comma, 6. Nice work. What's the range? The numbers 22 and, oh, I put an extra space in, 17. Check answer. Fantastic. Got it right. Let's go on to number four. And this time, similar exercise. OK, here I have an xy table and a set of points. The point 4, negative 5, 4, 0, 4, 3, 4, 4. Notice that 4 occurs more than once. And each time it goes to or is paired up with a different y coordinate. The same number 4 is paired up with four different y coordinates. No, no, no. That can't happen. I'm going to say no, this is not a function. And I'm right. Now what is the domain? We've only got one number in the domain. It occurs four times, but it's the same number, 4. Meanwhile, the range is negative 5, uh, 0, 3, and 4. All of the numbers on the right. And I'm right there. Let's go on to number 5. All right, here we have an x and a y table. Notice that all of the x coordinates occur only once. The y coordinates are all the same, but that doesn't matter. That's OK. The fact that none of the x coordinates repeats means that, means that each of these individual x coordinates is only paired up with one y coordinate. If you had a mapping, there would be one arrow going from the 7 to 2, one arrow going from the 2 to 2, one arrow going from negative 1 to 2, and one arrow going from negative 2 to 2. Okay? The fact that only one arrow would be going from each of the x coordinates means that this is, yes, a function. Doggone it. I left my answers in. Okay. Oh, well. Look at, look at the domain. The domain consists of all the numbers on the right, and the range consists of only one number. OK. Let us call this 
the end of this particular recording and I'll be back with, look at this, some graphs. These are more difficult. Talk to you later.